Tashka guys, ki hal chal? Welcome back to another video. So myself Manjot Diman. Right now we are in Mikumi National Park. So we just came to do lunch here, and it was a buffet. Everything was available: veg food, non-vegetarian, chicken, fish, and drinks. Everything was available. So the buffet price was twenty thousand for us, as uh, we are Tanzanian residents. For uh, tourists, I don't know. And the drinks price, one drink for us for two thousand shilling. I'll keep the dollars rate down there. In both of them, twenty thousand shilling for buffet, and two thousand for one drink. And uh, they want cottages here. If you wanna stay around here, spawn you inside the park. Next time, whenever I'll come, I'll, I'm gonna stay inside the park because it's much better. Just pick up your car, go whenever, wherever you wanna go. And next time, for sure, I'm gonna bring my car here. In the, I'm not gonna go with the safari jeeps. So. Here are the safari jeeps. Now we are gonna head at the snake park. Probably it's right now 1:30. We're gonna head at the snake park, and then after that we'll go to the Maasai village. So we're we're gonna head to the Maasai village after that. And uh, I hope you guys are liking these videos. So don't forget to like to the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And let's go ahead and let's have more fun. It's too fun, man. You must take out time for your, what do we say, for the nature. It's so peaceful, it's so fun. Like, but if I had my car, I was gonna roam here more. But uh, as we booked the jeep for one day, it, the price was one twenty dollars or one fifty dollars for half day. It was one twenty dollars, so it's already one thirty now. After this, we have to go for two more places: Snake Park and uh, Masai Village. So we'll have to go to the, with the jeep only because we have. Picked the plan. We have paid for everything. That's why my car is just sitting, sit, standing there and chilling. So next time I'm gonna take out my car. I'm not coming with jeeps. My body started paining. In your personal vehicle, your body never pains. This jeep, you can see a monkey there. It's okay. Just a baby monkey. Monkey, na thevu thake photo ke chiri. So. Next time, for sure, I'm gonna take my personal car and safari jeeps. Your body starts spinning. In your personal car, you never get tired of. Even though you're sitting, you aren't doing anything, you'll never get tired in the personal car. So we're heading to the snake park. I don't know. We're heading to snake park. Masai Village was. I didn't let you know, guys. Leaving the Mikumi Park now, so let's reach on Kariputena and welcome back. So we're gonna go at the Snake Park right now. Mapema. So we're about to leave the Mikumi Park now. You can see this is the outer parking of the area. The people's personal cars here. So we're going to the Snake Park now, and uh, it's about 10-15 kilometers from here. So we're gonna head there now. You can see giraffes on the road. We're just heading to Snake Park, and uh, so many giraffes here. There's so many giraffes. We have impalas there, some zebras. Uh, what's that there? I see something here. Let me change the lens. Here, it's a zebra, right? We are just heading to the snake park on the left side of the road. We just saw giraffes and zebras. We didn't see many giraffes in the, in the park. There was like only two of them which we saw. Right now there are many. You see here also there are two, two, three, four, five. There are many. So they are sitting behind there. A lot of them. See, we were just, uh, just parked on the side of the road. But it's great, man. You must, you must uh, experience wildlife. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, the wildlife, Africa, especially you must, uh, you must experience Africa, especially. There's so many. You must experience wildlife, especially you must especially experience Africa. Africa is a place of uh, creations, man. We guys came at Snake Park. I don't know if there is even much to show here. 
myself because it's really small that's what we have and there's something there that's the hotel side there there's just five snakes here so there's the safari car there Very aggressive, better than male. But male, no mm. yes. This one is the male, this one is the female, and the female is more aggressive than the male, always. So, when you touch, so we guys are leaving the snake park, it's fine. In Bagamoy, also, there's the same thing. We'll go Bagamoy also one time. So, we're about to head uh, to Masai Park. It was very nice and he was insisting us to hold the snakes but I'm not into this whole stuff so we now hold the uh, snakes. Now we're gonna head to Masai Park. There was no fees here I think so. Till now they haven't taken uh, taken any fees but if there is any fees I'll let you guys know. I, I'll let you guys know if there is, there is any fees. They took 92,000 prestige shilling from us. I'll keep the price uh, in the bottom on subtitles. I don't know how, 92,000 but I would not argue because they haven't taken care of stuff so that's why. But the Masai village here, and they greet us. Mambo, 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 and uh, it's my first time here in the uh, Maasai village, first time in uh, any Maasai village. It's a small one and there are not much, there are many people who live here but there are not much right now because uh, most of them have gone for grazing their cows and all stuff. And for us, they're from us because we are citizens of, uh, sorry, we are residents of, the, of uh, Africa. So, sorry, of Tanzania, residents of Tanzania. So that's why we have uh, permits and they took 20,000 tea shilling. I'll keep the yeah. price in dollars down there for us. It's twenty thousand each thing, but the prices do change. Sometimes it's fifteen dollars. Sometimes sometimes it's twenty dollars. We don't know about that. So we just made us sit here. They are like you sit and we'll bring the clothes that they wear. So I'm gonna wait for them. They're gonna make us tie. They're gonna tie these things on us. Iyo night ani niya. Go. Go. Masai. Go ya masai. Aha sa. Yeah, 
Maybe, yeah. Mm. This is the look of this. Do you like any? Do you like any? Mimi Johanna. Johanna, Santa. So this is the look of it. And uh, let me show you the ladies' look. That's the ladies' look of it. Uh -huh. This is known as Rungut for beating. And this is also of this belt. This is the necklace. That's the ladies' costume. <laughs> The cows is this the area where the cows do sleep? Uh -huh. So the cows have been gone from for grazing now. So that's why it's empty right now. I don't know much for the Ahoma house. As much as I understand I'm gonna tell you guys, right? Okay, this is the house of hens. Chicken. Uh -huh. This is the house of the hens and chickens. Uh -huh. They climb from this place and they enter inside. This is the thing they give me for. This is used for beating things, and they even give me a sword here. It's the belt. This where the boozy sleep, boozy means sheep or I think sheep or goat, I think so. I, I don't know, I'm not sure. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So he's telling that he made this such a strong uh, structure of this because at night the lions come and kill them. So because of that, the structure is made really strong. And I'm just telling you because I'm, I know very really little Swahili. I know I'm living here from too long, but I just, as much as I know, I'm telling you guys. Look at the houses, it is made from uh, sand, mud. It's, it's really nice, man. What do you say? It's a different kind of experience when you visit different places. As much as if I you guys know Swahili, it's good for you, you can understand. As much as I know Swahili, they have told that when there's a dry season and there's no water, there's no rain, so they sell the chickens and uh, they, they buy the water from the dealers, whatever. So they sell the chicken and buy the water. This is as much as I've understood. If you guys know soil, it's good for you. And I just left in the back there when we were getting just this. And uh, it's like, it's fine, nothing will. So hopefully it doesn't get too long or something. I have my editing stuff and uh, the laptops are in there. So hopefully it doesn't get so something. It's a great area. When you come to new places and experience new stuff, it's really good. The house is made of mud. It's just like India, you come to different, you get to learn about different cultures. In Tanzania, it's Maasai. In other country, in other cities, countries, it'll be something different. So it's really nice yeah. to know about different cultures, different traditions, mm -hmm. different religions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So he just cleared stuff out. He said that the people who live in Nikumi for them it's 1000 shillings, but for us it is uh, $15 because we are from Darasla. Non residence is 20,000. And this is our village. Also, we are one family. We live here. Uh -huh. yes. yes. So and we are three generations. So normally Maasai we are nomadic people because we follow grasses and water for the animal. Mm. We have cow, goat, sheep, chicken, dog and donkey. And for all the animal we eat cow, goat and sheep. Other animal we don't eat. 
we have chicken, but for business we sell them or we give the people from the Kumi village, then they bring water for us because here we don't have a well for water. Yeah, so for cow, we drink milk, we eat meat from them. Also, if we need money, we sell them. That way we are outside of the city because we are not agriculture people. Mm -hmm. We are pastoralists to take care of the animal. Okay. Like a wedding, a newborn, rain season, circumcision, oh. all the ceremonies okay. we celebrate here. Why we prefer this place? Because inside a lot of cow poop, so when we have a dance, normally men we jump. So when we jump, we can jump high because of the cow poop. Also, we will be with old men. They want to jump, but they are not strong anymore. So when they fall down, it's not much pain because it's not a, like a outside. Okay. Okay. And for all the ceremonies, big ceremony for us is a wedding and circumcision. And circumcision we do only for boys. Wedding we celebrate for two times because to getting married, we go outside of the village. Okay. So the daughter family they celebrate and the man family they celebrate. Sorry. Yeah. So be free if you have any question, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the big one is circumcision ceremony because we collect boys from different families, then we do together. Why? Because that ceremony is like expensive for us because we have to kill one cow for each boy. Uh -huh. So it's hard for one family to celebrate because if you they have twenty boys. Yeah, to kill 20 cows for one time, little bit is hard. That way we yeah. collect the animal and boys. Okay. And circumcision we do here. Okay. Yes. And for the age of boys from 13 to 18. For the marriage? Yeah, not marriage. Marriage is 18 above. above. Circumcision, I mean Tohara. Yes, we do here from 13 to 18, so between. Mm -hmm. Why we like to do circumcise? Because for boys to have a memory to remember mm -hmm. and to feel much pain. Because for that time, are not allowed to cry for the boys. Because time for marriage, ladies, they don't accept to cry, man. Mm -hmm. So when you cry here, after circumcise, we make two groups outside. For strong men and cry men. For, led, uh, for ladies to not cry and strong. And after that, we go in the forest and there we stay for three months. One month to recover and two months for training. How to use our local weapons. We have stick, we have machete, we have rungu, we have arrow and spear. Okay. Yeah, so after training, before we have to kill the lion, but now forbidden because of the government. So before we kill the lion, for reason to be chief of the village and second chance for crying men to have a wife. So when you cry here, you have to kill the lion to repair your week. <laughs> and when you kill one lion, you get married five wives for free. Uh -huh. Yes, but now forbidden. So before I think it's better than now because now yeah, to getting married, we have to pay 15 cow for one wife. Killing lion is a now fine. fine <laughs> there, eh? Yeah, but it's government, government, they say when they come here to attack human, we can kill. But if they come to attack animal, we can't kill because the government they come to pay us our animal. No. So we see for that is good. Okay. Yes, yeah. and five months ago they killed one cow here, and really government they pay us uh, oh, okay. beer. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so those three months we learned there. We have a rungu, machete, stick, arrow, and spear. After that, then before you have to kill the lion, and we kill the lion for reason. We don't eat, but to bring the head to prove that I killed the lion, and for that head leaders they make a crown for you. Oh, okay. Yes, so everyone knows that you came of the village. You killed the lion. Not yet, but my father, he did it. He did? Yes. Is Almost here? 30 years ago. No. Uh, before here, we from Kilosa. Before Kilosa, we from Marusha. Okay. We are three generation and first generation from Kenya. Second okay. and third original in Tanzania. So like me, I born uh, Arusha. Okay. And then we come to Kilosa to Mikum. Okay. So for us, we look the grass. If you spot enough for animal, we go to find another place. Okay. Yes. So before move, we have to go to choose other place. Then you come back to bring the family to go there. Okay. Yes. And when we move, it's very slowly because all the families yeah. go together. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. And we don't break in the houses because for other families, when they come, they can stay. Another family is coming. Okay. Yeah. So you can decide to go to choose the place already people they live or open place. Then you start to build everything. And new. government is asking the price when you are staying there somewhere. Sorry? Government is asking the price of this place? Uh, yeah, because uh, all the land uh, is for the government. Mm -hmm. So when you stay, they give you like a two weeks or three weeks. Then they follow you to ask you, you want to stay here? Yes. If it's good for you, okay, you have to pay for your land, then you can stay. How much do you pay? 
Uh, I'm not sure because my father did it to okay. pay this land. Okay. And for the government, uh, good things, when you pay for one time, you can't pay again. Okay. And they give you the certificate. So when you want to move to another place, you go with your certificate or you can sell uh, sell your land, then you go for another place. Yeah, okay. But if you go with your certificate, then next time you come back, you stay without pay again. Okay. Yes. But we have some people, they come like uh, the government. Hey guys, we are the government, this ID. So you have to pay for your land. So if you know one know how to read the ID, to know them, you can pay and next time really government they come. <laughs> okay. That way also now uh, uh, Masai, we have motivation to go to school to have education. Yes. They even gave me the thing, they, they gave me this, they told the top thing. So and it's so hard that if you hit somebody's head once, he's dead in one hit only. So I want to keep this in my car for safety. <laughs> It's really nice, huh? exploring new stuff. She's a daughter. So it's like in my son because from my brother. Oh, okay. Son brother. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> son brother. That is a calabash to keep the milk. Okay. Yeah, so we can open it with this. Okay. No milk. No milk. Medivole. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is a house and I must say we make generally houses like that because we are nomadic people. So when we move to another place, we don't broke in the house because for other families. Waiting for the cow to have other meal. Okay. Yeah. So when we go for another place, we don't broke in the house. We live like that because for other families. Yeah. Yeah. And here for fire, sometimes for cooking. And we sleep there side because to have really smoke for some insect to disappear outside, like a mosquito. That way the smell is like a smoke. So mm. it's hard for insect to stay inside. Mm -hmm. Yes. Where, where? Are you ready? So how many years are you living in uh, Mikumi? We've been here for nine years. Nine years. Yes. Okay. Bedroom is made out of cow skin. This is cow skin. They sleep here. Yes. Hmm? Hmm? Ah? This is to make the salt? porridge, uh, you know, curry or something. No spice. We we have only salt, but we don't use uh, uh, many spices. Oh. Maybe when uh, spices we use, if we have ceremony, because we invited the other people, they are not to Maasai, oh. so they like to use the many spices, like uh, about uh, ubabu. You know ubabu? You know wali? Mm. Yeah, wali. I mean rice. Mm. When we have ceremony, we can eat rice because we get other people they are not to Maasai and they like to eat much rice. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. And the name is Istakulia Africa. So it's not any tree you can use to make a fire. That way sometimes it's happen on the mountains. The fire happen because of this wood. No one put fire there, but because if they are dry, when they make friction and they drag grasses, this is the way how they burn fire. Yeah, so the you traditional the way. Hole, how we start it. Okay. 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 My light on. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Ayo. 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 
see the fire? Yes. <laughs> Can I have that? When you make fire, mm -hmm. it's uh, high pressure, faster, faster, mm -hmm. and pressing down. Pressing down. Yeah, and don't miss out of the hole. Okay. Where? Where? You can see a bit smoke there. Oh. <laughs> okay, you too. <laughs> Time to try. <laughs> it's very tough. For all of you, your dinner is one banana. <laughs> <laughs> In India also, our ancestors is the same way. Like in fire? Yeah. Uh, but uh, right now, we don't know. With stones. With uh, stone. stone. You know the... Ah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in it, right now, we don't know any any ways of doing this stuff. Right. Yeah. Because you use a light always. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. It's true. It's true. <laughs> it's really tough. We're going to show the dance now. So how we celebrate when we have any kind of ceremony. Yes. And normally when we have a ceremony, jumping will be competition because for the ceremony we are different families. So we make competition. Uh, Who can yeah. make higher? Uh, they depend because some they jump high and others they jump for more times. Oh, okay. We have to look in the one jump for more times. Okay. So today we compete with you, uh, visitors, you are the winner today. <laughs> so Thank you. Very nice. <laughs> so now we can make group photo all together. Yes, sure. Yeah. Like I told you my name, Paolo. Yeah. Uh -huh. But from school, and that name was uh, the name of my teacher. Uh -huh. He asked me, can, can you accept the second name? Because my original name is a little bit hard. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Take care.